All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I feel pretty good. Even though I only got like four or five hours of sleep, laid in bed for a couple hours, I feel like fantastic. It's like ridiculous. You know, I guess uh, now that I'm getting more physically healthy by obviously burning all this damn body fat, um, yeah, I guess, yeah, things will be, uh, you know, different. You know, so I had a pretty good weekend. Uh, surprisingly, I haven't even retweeted my shit. Uh, you know, because I've obviously been getting increasingly frustrated on my Twitter, simply because it's like, well, what's the point of me using this shit? I mean, nobody likes, nobody really, really, really retweets. You know, it's like, yeah, there's like, you know, what did I really get out of this shit, all right? You know, so. But with that being said, obviously that's going to change because, you know, I've been working on my game. Uh, right now I'm at the phase of adding new levels. I want to try to add 20 levels to my game. Um, let's see, I wrote here, new levels, so we'll go up to 20, then I have to create a level select. It shouldn't be too bad. Add some flavor text to the perks. I have to also add the branding for GMC 2x2 two two and 404 coin. I can't do infinite ricks because uh, I'm definitely going to cause copyright problems, so I can't use that. Uh, then I can do the save function, which will, that's actually like my biggest issue, but if I'm thinking if I can't figure, if I truly cannot figure it out, I think I should be able to like just outsource it to the guy who makes, uh, uh, I think it's called easy save unity. I might be able to outsource it to this guy, All right, Or maybe someone who already knows how to use this and I just pay him like a hundred bucks or whatever. I mean, it's it's going to be excessive, but you know, at least. A, it'll be done for me, and B, they could just write down, this is what you have to do, this is where I put the code, the blah, 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 blah. Right, now it's $50, right? But, I mean, everyone seems to swear by it, so. Um, for But this is, obviously, this is what I'm looking for. For amateurs, all right? Because I'm an amateur, right? I mean, I, yeah, I did programming 19, 20 years ago, but, you know, uh, it, this shit's really hard. I didn't realize it, but I've been programming now for five months, right? Today is June 22nd. I started programming sometime in like mid January, right? I, it's like, okay, I still feel like, yeah, there's so much more to learn. But on the other hand, I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable with programming, right? After one year, because the way I, when I started, right, five months ago, I was like, Okay, one year from now, if I really stick with it, I'll definitely be better at it at that point than I am now, okay? And then two years, even better than before, and so on and so forth. And then eventually, I should have no problem with programming, right? You know, it's, it, it's like, it's a difficult skill, right? High learning curve, high patience, high, high IQ, high impulse control, higher. There's a reason why only a few people in the world can fucking do it, all right? You know, so, I'll you know, leave it at that. Uh, you know what's funny is this K-pop guy. He's trying to own the white people or whatever, but I actually think like he's actually he's actually inadvertently supporting it. So it's like, all right, you know, works for me. Uh, wacko, I'm glad a chance. I always like hearing where he turned out to be grossly kind of liar. So he judges, pay classified information. This is actually is pretty good. What I also like about this is it shows that Trump is being more empathetic. This is actually really important because the problem with Trump, obviously, is he's he's got no empathy. Everyone just thinks he's a fucking heartless f-word asshole, and he is. This would go a long way. It's like even I was willing to give John Bolton a chance to hear different points of view, but you know, it turns out he's just a lying asshole and stupid. So, good, good. Because of mail-in ballots, and of course the liberals are supporting John Bolton all of a sudden. So, you know, again, it just makes the Democrats look more, you know, hypocritical. It's they always, like, Democrats are really good at being hypocrites and getting away with it. But even then, there's limits to that, too. So, you know, this plays right into, the, this plays right into that weakness, or that plays up that weakness, right? You know, uh, wait, am I getting spam attacked? No, I'm just minting coins. Okay, good. And then, yeah, mail-in ballots will be, uh, uh, or cheat, uh, using the mail-in systems. Yeah, totally. All right, let me see. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. The crazy commie gambit. Ah, uh, yes. Trump even suggested something like this, too. Yeah, Trump actually refollowed, um, not refollowed, uh, tweeted this out. Actually, it might be here. Um... Talk about the statue of Roosevelt being destroyed. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, actually that would be a big improvement. She would win. 
Yeah, I call this the crazy commie gamut. I'm not sure what to call the OC. So I was like, yeah, it's straight commie. But anyway, yeah, it's gamut because it's a gamble. All right, because that's what AOC wants. She wants all that power, and she does have the power to really fuck us all over. But it does also hurt the Democrat establishment. So it's like, you know, am I willing to gamble? I think the answer is yes. There's also other reasons too, but I don't want to get deplatformed, so I can't talk about it. All right. Um, what's the other thing too? Oh yeah, there was a kill stream between uh, Destiny and the leader of the Gorper Uprising, which I can't mention his name anymore, uh, on the Ralph retort. So I actually am in the middle of listening to it. It's actually a really good conversation. It really is making me uh, kind of rethink some things. And speaking of rethinking some things, so. Turns out, <clears throat> so I decided to actually one day just go to Scott Adams' thing uh, over the weekend, and I actually listened to like two of his periscopes. This lead by Joe Biden is actually wrong, according to him, because uh, if you say you're supporting Trump, you will get beaten, you will lose your job, you will lose everything. And that's actually much worse now than it was in 2015, 2016. Uh, that's actually a big deal. So what ha what's happening is everyone's just lying to the pollsters. They're lying on predict. They're lying everywhere to protect themselves. It's a matter of fear and survival, as Scott M says. It's uh, fear is the biggest persuasive motivator uh, in the world. So what are you going to do? Yeah, you essentially have a gun to your head. Vote for Joe Biden or else. So yeah, you know they're being made an offer they can't refuse. So it's going to be interesting. Like. The size of the Trump, uh, hidden Trump voter is going to be a lot bigger this time around. Um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> I have the prize, I don't know. And there's no way I can ever know, all right? Because everyone's in hiding. Uh, and then also, Scott also said there's a difference between Trump, who looks more or less normal and will get the economy up and running and wants to, versus the Democrats, where they're looting and pillaging and burning everything down and creating chazes all over the country. Uh, personally, I actually think a lot of Democrats and people would support burning shit down, uh, but um, I, I don't know. It, it's gonna. It, I think it's just gonna be close. Uh, but with that being said, that's a big difference from Joe Biden just gonna win in a landslide, which is what my position was before I listened to Scott Adams. So for now, I was gonna leave this as fi uh, like a plus fifteen percent for Trump. So that would mean. Not uh, plus 15. Um, plus, he should be 1% ahead of have Joe Biden. So that's minus 8 here and plus 8 over here. No, that would, yeah, that would be 51%, 49% Trump to Biden. Yeah, so about, so it's a plus minus 8% difference. Um, but there's just really no way to know. But at least, you know, Trump's actually doing the right thing. As long as Trump stops bitching about China, you know, that would be good. Uh, even Scott Adams is on board the like anti-China shit, and I just find that irritating. But you know, whatever. No one's perfect, so whatever. Anyway, uh, so there's a little bit of news today. I actually forgot to bring up this article. Uh, so I did say on Friday I was going to do invest, uh, add supplemental videos or extra videos, I should say. Did an investing video that I, the first one I did, and then we're going to actually go over the steps. So today would have been good, but I just like, ah, I just like, ah, I'm just coming off the weekend, you know, I got to lift weights. I just want to take it easy, but yeah, we'll work, we'll definitely work on that this week. Uh, maybe tomorrow, actually. I, have, I just have to think of a, I just have to organize my thoughts and try to condense it down to something useful. You know, but basically, the first bill is technically all that you need, but then I figure, okay, maybe I need to expand on that more. So I'm thinking at least two more videos. Uh, you know, but the thing is, the part about the math is very intertwined with the uh, other video I was planning to do tomorrow or whatever, the next one. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for last week is finalizing around 11, so no surprise because 24 hour volume is not even that great. Bitcoin now 64.6%, 24-hour volume 62.2 billion, so it's still pretty bad. Rather, I should say it's pretty low. Uh, even coin market caps using Google AdSense ads. Uh, yeah, Google AdSense. 94.41 for uh, Bitcoin. Litecoin 43.76, so really just not much happening. And then Dogcoin, 308.6 million market cap. Uh, 
what? They were the Dow futures are up like two hundred points today. Okay, well I guess something different. Here's what I expect from app. Nope, don't care. Gilead test inhaled version of Remsevir on COVID nineteen. Don't care. Virgin Galactic NASA developed product for private missions. Uh, I am kind of interested in space, so I guess we'll just read this because there's probably not much. Stocks decline. The message I increases in virus cases. Yeah, so it's like people are like, oh, you know, recovery is possible, and that's why we're going to raise the stock market. Ball, but now more virus shit. It's like. Okay, man. Courage to file coronavirus data will be critical of states. Okay. Uh, Wildmark has gotten so. All right. Uh, got some ad. Uh, mortgage rates have dropped to another all-time low. Can they go even lower? Um, well, I am planning to buy a house eventually. Uh, Freddie Mac says the 30-year rate is 3.13 percent. That's pretty damn low. Okay. Very nice. Well, I better get a low mortgage rate then when I buy my house in Tampa, Florida. Dow Jones, which means I got I got to learn how to drive. I got to learn so much shit; it's ridiculous. The problem with me learning to drive is also I live right here in New York City, so like, there's no point. It's actually a bad idea to drive because there's no. It's a pain in the ass to find parking, and I would hardly use my car, which means I need to, you know, keep learning to drive. But if I move to Florida, I'm, I need to immediately start driving around, right? Because I'm probably going to, I'm going, because I looked at the towns, like, yeah, I'm going to be in an isolated area, right, the highway's right there, and then I go into the city. But I need to get there by fucking driving. And I'm definitely not going to wait on a stupid bus. Dow Jones future slashes, slash, I mean, I don't mind a bus, but I mean, you know, time's valuable to me, so, you know. Plus, I kind of probably don't want to be alone. You know, I don't want to, because I, I don't like the idea of having to walk around with a concealed carry gun in my fucking, you know, pocket and shit. Stock market rally faces coronavirus wave. Apple, da 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 um, I don't know what's wrong with JMC on corrects. All right, I'm gonna have to just go on my Chrome. Uh, oh shit. Uh, I, ask you, I, I really think we should not try at the moment. It's doing really It's always also fine for now. People will only see reason for those to get more supply or should keep better. The, the vestiges. Uh, Doing video now, but uh, give me 40 minutes. So apparently, JMC coins listed on Coin Market Cap. Uh, that's actually pretty impressive. Here, I'll show you guys. Uh, that's good. Uh, that's good. I think. Let's see. Let's go over here. Uh, I still kind of want to do the swap, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, because I don't see anything there. Oh wait, Crex did. Did fix this. Twenty four hour value on GMC is eight hundred and thirteen, eight hundred fourteen. Okay, uh the price still sucks on this shit. Why would I fucking invest in this shit? Uh four oh four uh yeah. But I mean it has uh, a trade volume of eight hundred fourteen dollars. But we'll have to see. Um, two by two is seventy-two to seventy-five. Bricks is two hundred to two hundred two. So that's not too bad. Um, uh, okay. Let's see. So yeah. So JMC coin is ranked twenty-four seventy-five. Says he has to do something about the markets. Yeah. Where? Oh, market pairs. Well, it is listing it here. Confidence high, volume, spot, recently, liquidity. Um, yeah, I mean, the problem is we have a coin market cap listing, but I can see in the future, this doesn't mean anything, right? The APR is too low, the software is shit, and it's very vulnerable to spam attacks, which is going to fuck up our products, right, when we're doing high transaction volumes. And it's going to slow down the fucking game in servers. It's a real problem. Uh, so I rather do the, actually, this is really good. In fact, this would actually encourage me to do the fucking swap. 
Um, let's see. So, but I have, I have, uh, but I'm in the middle of doing this video, so I'll talk about it later. But uh, we'll see. Uh, Rick's. Oh yeah, everyone over. Rick's. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, bullshit. Uh, Jim Rogers. Valid Bitcoin dropped. Oh, not Jim Rogers. Yeah, I really respect Jim Rogers. This guy, but he's showing his boomer age. He's just being retarded. Bitcoin narratives, coin decks, Elish Ponzi scheme, no, nope. uh, blah, 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 uh, 35 billion is Bitcoin is lost forever. Really? Wow. Wish I had some of that. Proceeded 1900, just flashes up. Okay, more technical analysis. F word tree. Here's the case of Bitcoin. A coin. No. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I do like this thumbnail, so we could use it as a thumbnail. Of course, Firefox is trash. All right. Uh, we already went over Trump. All right, quarantine, COVID, hacking, blah, blah. Do I really need to read this? Yeah, ha ha They have very see some of that, which are a friend said, oh, they're really, that's really, which is similar to what we see at schools, when schools are allowed out. I think a bunch of kids are trying to get the test your chops so they can hack various systems. I guess that makes sense, right? If you're at home, you got nothing better to do, yeah, you're just gonna hack all day. Interesting. Making sure the internet's secure, cloud flare, blah, 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 okay. Wait, what's this? Investors appear to be bad. Cloudflare security cluster will be high in demand right now through the election. Cloudflare stock has exploded 111%. Oh, wow. Cloudflare is publicly traded. Wait, Cloudflare is publicly traded? Uh, why don't you tell me the stock symbol? If you're going to mention the... This is, this is one thing I do, don't, uh, I do dislike about Yahoo. Cloudflare. Oh, that's a pretty nice. Uh, that's a pretty nice symbol. They got the word net. That's pretty. That's pretty poggers. Oh wow, yeah. So that's why they started deplatforming uh, right wing people. They're a publicly traded company. Fuck. I hope when I go public, I don't uh, cave to this kind of pressure. But I mean, I think I'm enough of. Mike Cernovich's teachings in me to resist that, but I mean, you never know. I, um, I, cause, cause yeah, if I lose like 60% of my customer base, you know, it's like, yeah, that could be, uh, that could be an issue, you know? <laughs> well, you know, we'll worry about that later. Interesting. NASA and Virgin Galactic to, pr uh, to do private space missions. Well, especially now that Tesla has been leading the way, so all Virgin has to do is just simply copy Elon Musk and then innovate from there. So, yeah, it's, it's very, oh, there's literally nothing here. It's just a blurb. All right, well, all right. Well, good for them. Good for them. We, li we like space travel. All right. Uh, acquire rebellion against coverage being waged on a single website by a freelance co using crypto. We're pay okay. Bitcoin censorship for me was uh, a young Sarah Cat breaking through paywalls. All that, okay. Uh, so, she is a 31 year old freelance programmer, neurobiologist, and fit. Phil, okay, Philo, philologist is writing a database of over 80 million articles from academic journals that are normally available only through subscription. It started out for session when she was a graduate, became a free research service, all of your donations from us through the world. Bitcoin is the only way to support her work. The website called SciHub has been sued by two science publishing and report investigated by the DOJ for possible espionage on behalf of Russian intelligence. She was never contacted by Americans. This effectively cut her from financial blah 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 blah. Uh, e. Balkian told CoinDesk the website sees about 600k visits a day. That is really good. Even for those researchers who have access to the e. so how to turn up to the get contact for their research. We're sure they go on the phone about it. But people can't use mainstream payment shit. Crypto offers an alternative. It's hardly a bell or a broad adoption kind, but it's good because of niche payments, real blah blah blah. Yeah, for now. For most, for most of our people prefer to use regular fiat payments because they are easy. But when they get locked out because of whatever, Bitcoin because an option, people have been locked down. Eh, Bitcoin says only kind of, most often it's online payments during Yandex.money. 
Uh, it's available in Russia and nearby Korea. Uh, okay, sometimes I can miss you. Ah, so she's actually Russian, I think, or at least genetically. Okay, uh, found that I was very far about 900k. Really, uh, 2017 round is going for her. She says she could sell that half. Oh, it's nonchalant. Okay, accent uh, clash with. Okay, I don't want to read the. All right, I don't want to read the rest of this. That's pretty good. All right, I do kind of like this picture too. What do we have here? Here's a Bitcoin. Here's the case for. Why did I click this? Oh, because I wanted the thumbnail. Oh, that's the end of the thing. All right, so I have to think about um, JMC. Even though it's nice to have a CMC listing, that doesn't really mean anything because it's temporary. Uh, with that being said, uh, I think I still want to go ahead with a swap, all right, and then bring it back to CMC. Uh, it's about the long term thing. And uh, with that being said, I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, make sure uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, uh, hit like button, the follow button, and subscribe button from the. Uh, uh, from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JNC Radio, the underside of my chin zitchy. Make sure you smash the subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can continue growing this channel. Alright, so I got some shit to do. I want to add some more levels to my game. Oh, before we go, uh, Steam Terrible Tower Defense. Uh, yeah, decently bad tower defense on Steam. So one thing that I find interesting is I might still want to post my game on Steam. Uh, I could definitely tell he used um, Unity for this. Uh, simple, like whatever levels. Uh, he's got mostly positive reviews, right? And he's got a pretty hilarious uh, uh, thing. Right there. He right out of the gate just tells you up front what's what's the deal. <laughs> I didn't even know, I didn't even realize he wrote his own system requirements. Sound cards, noises, <laughs> paladins. Oh, I thought that was saying coronavirus edition or something. Yeah. Uh, three types. I don't even think this thing has saving, does it? Yeah. So my game's gonna definitely be more uh, polished than this, at least. Because uh, I because I eventually want to uh, expand my tower defense game to include some kind of multiplayer, but I just don't possess the technical know-how to do it. That's why I got to work on my Clash of Clan games game with the city building kit, right? That has the uh, multiplayer and everything pre-built. So that's where I'm going to use to learn and figure everything out, and then just adapt that to you know my game. Anyway, I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Uh, I think it'll be the investor shit. I gotta like plan it out, but now that I gotta talk to Mitch about the swap thing, so uh, yeah. So anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Always remember, Johnson Chan, JFC Coin, 404 Coin. So it kind of just went over a lot of crap. So to be honest, I really don't know what the today's title is gonna be. It's uh, yeah, there's just nothing. Yeah, well, I'll think of something.